Hi friends, so today I'm sitting down to do a video that I have never done before, but has been requested, and it's what I eat in a week. In this video, I partnered with Home Chef because they are my favorite home delivery service. And I'm gonna walk you through first how I decide what I'm going to have throughout the week, what days I go and get my groceries and how I plan for the week. And then I'm going to show you through the week the actual meals I eat. First things first, how we do things around our house is we sit down on Sunday. Usually we go to the gym or we do something in the morning and go get breakfast. And while we're at breakfast, we plan out how many nights we're home during the week, what events we have during the weeknights, what things we need easy meals for, what things we need to prepare for, what days we need lunches, and what items we need for breakfast. So while we're sitting there, and generally we look at Pinterest, I will post my Pinterest down below. That's where I post a lot of ideas that I'm thinking of. We go through each night and decide what we're gonna need food for. So how we do that is first we go through and go through our Home Chef app and we decide what three or four meals we want to get from Home Chef to have delivered that week. We typically get four meals delivered and how I work those meals in is I actually get the meals for two people even though there are three of us because MJ is the third and what I tend to do is I just always have extra chicken on hand, extra pork chops on hand, extra steak on hand and I pull out an extra protein for him and add that into our food for the week. If it's an item that I don't have already on hand in my freezer and extra, I put that on my grocery list. On my phone, how I keep track of my groceries is I actually have an app called Shopper and I create different grocery lists. I have grocery lists, BJ's list, Bed Bath & Beyond list, anything you can think of type of list. I have a grocery list. You can actually put the items into the actual aisles they are in in the store makes it very easy when you're going through shopping. So I go through and add anything extra I'm going to need as far as dinners. We always start with dinners first. So let's say I have four nights of dinners. I know my Home Chef box is going to be delivered on Tuesday. So I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's either going to be my Friday or my Sunday of that week, depending on what we have going on. So those are my four nights. Now I do know with that delivery being on Tuesday, I need a meal for Sunday and one for Monday. Now, if I have a Home Chef meal left over from the week before, we will have it on that Sunday night. Most times, if we don't have a Home Chef meal left over, we will throw something in the Instapot, like a soup or something like that. Really simple that we don't have to think about and we can just enjoy our Sunday together. After we have figured out what dinner meals we had, we go through and just kind of get a couple ideas of a few things we could have for lunches, either it's salad stuff or it's um, little sandwich stuff, just one or two things that we could use multiple times during the week if needed for lunches. For breakfast, we always have certain things on hand. We always have yogurt and fruit. We always have oatmeal and we always have eggs on hand. Once I figured out what all of those things are and I have them all written out on my grocery list on my phone, then in the afternoon, usually I go to the grocery store by myself. I find it to be so much quicker and easier when I just go by myself and I run through the grocery store with my list and nothing extra is added on. I get back, I put everything away where it belongs, and like I mentioned, generally on Sunday, I either use a Home Chef meal from the week previous or I make a soup. So I'm gonna show you everything as I go through starting at Sunday night. And I will go all the way through Saturday nights. Now keep in mind, Saturday days are typically a day we go out to lunch with MJ and Saturday nights are typically a night that Marty and I do date night. And if we don't have somewhere specific we wanna go or a date night, it is a night that we will take MJ with us and we'll go out to dinner somewhere. So we don't tend to cook at home on Saturday nights. That is the only night that consistently we do not cook at home. A few things I wanna note about Home Chef that have really helped to save us is, one, we used to always order out on Friday nights. And ordering out on Friday nights was so difficult because it always took us forever to decide where are we gonna go? Then once you figure out where you're gonna go to pick up food, what do we want to eat? And then you call it in, and then you've gotta wait for it to either be delivered or that you can go pick it up and it's cooked. In all of that time, it usually took anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes just to go through that process before we even got to eat. With Home Chef, when we have it on Friday nights and we don't have something going on, it is so easy. It's just, here's what we're gonna have, one of the things that are left, and you are set. It is done in 30 minutes and so much quicker and easier than trying to figure out all that information and 
the calories and the amount of food that you get that is just not good for you when you order out is so much worse for you. Another amazing thing that is one of the reasons we love Home Chef so much is you can actually go through each recipe, figure out what is low calorie, figure out what is low carb. Those are two key things that we love to watch and pay attention to, and it's super important. So the fact that they have those options make it so nice and so easy to make decisions. Also, when you have those four meals decided and you're really choosing between eight to 12 meals off of their menu, once you've decided those fours, it makes planning so easy during the week. You just go, which of these four do you want? You pick one and you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you might have gotten a couple different little meal ideas. Home Chef also, when you use their recipes, always have the recipes. You can save them on your phone. You can go back and recreate them. It makes it so easy to have extra dinner ideas later on when you might not need four meals for the week. You can just pull out a recipe card or go on your phone and get a great All idea. Right. So Instapot soup, this is called like jazzy chicken soup. It has no carbs in it as far as noodles or anything like that. So we are going to turn this on to, where is it, soup for 30 minutes. I think we're going to do a little bit longer because <clears throat> we're not going to be here. And hit, oh, I gotta close it. Turn the little thing to no steam and hit start. And when we come home, soup will be done. Good morning to everyone, happy Monday. So first day, and the first thing I start out with every morning when I wake up is I drink a cup of tea with green tea, with apple cider vinegar, lemon, and then I put in my vital proteins, um, my collagen peptides in my tea. And I usually drink two of those before I even start anything to eat. So I do the first one, go up, get showered, get dressed, get ready, and then I drink a second cup while I'm waiting for the bus. And then I get to my meal, first meal, usually around 10.30. So I was going to have an oatmeal and a banana, but I'm craving cereal. So my go-to cereal right now is Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. And I'm gonna have that with some milk, and then I'm gonna have a banana. Because I have an appointment today that's two hours long, and then I'll get lunch after that. So I just got home. I didn't, I mean, my breakfast was my lunch, and we're going to have an early dinner. It's 3.30, and I'm going to show you guys a quick little kind of salad type of thing, but not like a green salad, a pasta salad with couscous that I leave in the fridge so I can have for like a quick snack in between that's still good and healthy. It's kind of a Greek version. All right, so in order to do this, I start with a container and a rotisserie chicken, and I'm just gonna break the rotisserie chicken down. All right, I got already chopped up peppers and onions, and you use however much you want. I'll use all the onion and probably one of the quarters of peppers on this. So I'll just take it and put the onion in there. Actually, I don't need all the onion. I'm just do a little bit of each pepper. Then I'm gonna take some capers. And I put capers in here as well. I take some artichoke hearts that are quartered and I chop them up. Take all of this in here and put it in this just because it makes it easier for mixing. And then I'm going to mix up the couscous a little bit. It's still hot, but as I mix it up and break it up, Put it into this, mix this all up, add any extras of anything you feel like you might need. Oh, feta, I forgot to do the feta. I'm gonna go get that. Take feta cheese, fat-free crumbles, put what I have left in there, start mixing it up, salt and pepper, however much you like. Then I'm gonna take a lemon, 
cut it in half. And I'm going to use my lemon squeezer and squeeze lemon all over it. Mix it up, add a little bit of salt and pepper if you want it, and you're good to go. Adding more peppers, onions, um, a little bit more lemon, and some more salt and pepper, but this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's great the day after when you keep it in the fridge. It's so yummy. All right, guys, so dinner tonight is going to be chicken breasts. I'm just cutting them thin, um, searing them on a cast iron skillet, and I do like a sauce with it. Um, white wine, tomatoes, garlic, uh, olive oil, parsley, I think are the things that I use. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up some broccoli here behind me for our side, and that's gonna be dinner for tonight. Right, guys Tuesday so I have not eaten anything yet and it is 1 o'clock and I finished dinner last night at 6 30 so I did more than 16 hours of my fast and I am going to have some of the Greek couscous salad that I made yesterday for my lunch today I'm going to show you something quick that I do when I am craving when I need water but I'm craving something with a little flavor I take a crystal light raspberry lemonade I only take half a package now I've already used half of this I dump half of it into swell bottle, a, you know, Yeti, a cooler, a cup, whatever you have. And then I take a LaCroix coconut. Yeah, that sounds weird. Coconut water. It's just a soda water. There's no calories in it, no anything. But when I'm craving a soda or I'm craving like a candy bar or something, I put some ice in here. Cookies, anything sweet. I drink this and it really, really curbs my like hunger. So... That's it. All right, so breakfast this morning, 10.30, and I stopped eating last night at six o'clock. So I take some Pam, the butter one, and I spray the pan, and then I take two jumbo organic eggs, and I don't like the yellows of eggs. Just my own personal choice. Marty likes them. I just go back and forth until I can get rid of the yellow. And then I do, whoop, I do two of them. I'm gonna turn it on on medium and let it cook. All right, once it gets pretty much cooked where there's not a whole lot of liquid left, I actually take two spatulas. I scoot them under and then I flip it over. And let it cook on the other side. It doesn't take as long on this side, just a minute. Just simply fold it over, turn that off, slide it onto your plate, and then season it. So I'm not a big egg person, but this is what makes all the difference. The Trader Joe's Chili Lime Seasoning Blend. I love this stuff, guys. I just sprinkle it on, and I'm ready for breakfast. All right, so today I've been running around, running errands, getting my nails done. So I picked up a smoothie for lunch. We have a couple different places here by us. I just picked up my favorite. It has the biggest freaking straw ever, but this is gonna be my lunch for today. We'll have an early dinner. All right, when I need a quick and easy breakfast, I pick up the Dannon Light and Fit whatever flavor. I like the coconut vanilla with some raspberries and some So when I do this, I put the yogurt into a bowl and then I take some strawberries, however many I feel like. And then I actually take these and I squish the raspberries against the side. I also do this flavored yogurt with pineapple pieces and shredded 
unsweetened coconut, which is really good too. That's another great option, but this is what I had today. So I'm gonna squish these all up and then mix them in and add a little bit of granola. I had just add a little handful of granola, mix it in and I'm ready to go. A quick lunch we do a lot of times around here is I take bread. This is my favorite bread to use because it is actually not as bad in carbs because it's from potato. Anyway, then I take whatever kind of cheese you want. I get turkey breast, I get it shaved. I have a thousand island, whichever type you want. And then I have some sauerkraut and I'm gonna make my own grilled turkey bourbon. All right, so I like these copper pans, they're my favorite. And I take the pam, I take the butter flavored one. And yes, it's flavored, but it's still, it's not great for you, but it's still gotta be better than having real butter. Turn the stove on. I usually put it on medium. All right. And then I just take the bread on the one side. I take the Thousand Island and I just do one dollop usually when it gets to that point. Okay. I take the piece of American cheese and I kind of use that to spread it all over. Put that on. Put some turkey on it. Sorry, my dryer is going off. All right. Then I take some sauerkraut, put it on here, however much you want. Kind of just spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to get some in all the different bites. Thanks, Judy. You can set it over there. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to take the other piece of cheese. And then I'm going to cover this and kind of squish it down a little bit. And then you take it and you're going to flip it over. And if it's not brown enough, you can flip it back over again and just let it heat up until it's the desired doneness. If you want to, when you flip it, you can also spray a little bit more on it before you flip it over if you want the other side to be crispy and kind of buttery tasting. Alrighty, mine is pretty much done. I like mine a little bit more crispy. So now I just take it, cut it, and there it is. So if you enjoyed this style of video, definitely go down below, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, any of those things. So if you are not yet subscribed, I'd love if you click that little red button right down below. As always guys, everything I'm wearing will be listed in the description box. And thanks so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.